lovelies, Jennifer Siliato here. I'm back for another Style Fix video. And I have to admit that this week, I honestly had no idea what to talk about for a Style Fix video. And then I got a text from a lovely customer who has just bought a pair of sneakers and she was asking how to style them. So I thought, oh, perfect topic for this week's Style Fix video. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. And when I was doing research for this video, I was thinking about how this is like a trend that is actually never going to go away. I think any age can wear this. I remember when running shoes and wearing running shoes outside of the gym really became a trend in the 1980s. I remember being in New York City and seeing all these women in their power suits and their runners. Okay. It was like making headlines and such a big deal. And the reason why this started was because there was a subway strike and women had to walk to work. So of course they were not gonna walk in their high heels and opted to walk in their runners instead makes a lot of sense. And then when I was in my 20s living in Paris, I remember that we were all wearing running shoes and suits and skirts and dresses. And then it kind of seemed to sort of disappear once again. And now I feel like this is not a trend. It is here to stay. And that's partly because, well, first of all, it feels great. It's so comfortable. It's great for our feet. But also because the running shoe industry has come leaps and bounds in terms of what styles are out there so it's a lot easier to style so i've broken this down into a few categories and i thought i would start with the hardest one to style and that's doing it with skirts and dresses and i think it's just simply because it's counterintuitive although we are seeing it more and more and it really is becoming streamlined and a little bit more fashion forward and it's so practical so why not once again anything goes here if you wanting if you're wanting to do it with a big clunky sneaker or something that's a little bit more flat like a samba or an adidas or doing with a, a converse or high top converse or a basketball shoe i think that they all look really great the key is to keep your legs bare, doing a very little sock or no sock at all. Unless you want to give the illusion that you're doing a high top and adding in a sock to give you that ankle leg. I think it looks so much better and is much easier to pull off doing with a bare leg. Next category is a more tailored look, which would be pairing your sneaker with a dressier outfit. So doing it with a suit or a dress pant or some kind of blazer, something that is a little bit more formal or something that you would normally wear with an Oxford or a loafer or a high heel, but for whatever reason, you need to be super comfortable and wanna wear your sneakers. In this instance, to keep the outfit looking really chic and polished, then I would consider keeping it very minimal in terms of the color palette. Either doing monochromatic, all one color, and adding in one simple extra element of another color, or doing, let's say, an all black outfit with a sharp white sneaker, or the opposite, and doing an all white outfit with a black sneaker. Keeping the palette really relaxed and subtle will keep that outfit looking really polished. However, there are so many sneakers out there now that are a little bit dressier looking, whether they're a metallic, whether they're uh, some kind of print. Um, and in that case, then I would make the outfit based around kind of the colors in that sneaker. So still keeping it quite subtle, but not necessarily doing it monochromatic, keeping it to maybe two or three colors at most. Next category is sort of like a sporty chic category, and that's where we're used to seeing a sneaker. And I love this because I feel like these. this is kind of like going to the from the gym to the office kind of look or relaxed weekend kind of look running a bunch of errands and then going out for lunch or whatever it is whatever it is that you're doing this is the kind of look that i think that we're 
we're becoming more accustomed to seeing and is kind of fun and a creative place to pull off some things that you wouldn't necessarily normally do. Here, I think it's really fun to do a bright colored sneaker, to, to play around with some elements of kind of some sporty type pants or adding in another element of a sporty accessory with a baseball cap or some kind of bag playing around with a different shape pant. I think there's a lot of ways that you can express yourself in the sporty sort of chic, whether you're playing around with proportions, whether you're playing around with a color palette. This is a place to be fun, a place to be creative, and really making the sneaker the star of the outfit or the starting point of the outfit. Next, I love the idea of this juxtaposition of the high street meets vintage, playing around with the unexpected. So doing a sequence dress, for instance, with a sneaker, doing um, a feathery skirt with a sneaker, doing a really fun printed dress with a polished black sleek sneaker, Things that you wouldn't expect to see. And I think that this becomes really fashion forward. I think it's really fun. And it feels a little bit like, why not? Let's have fun, let's be playful, and let's be uniquely ourselves. And then finally, the last category is kind of like the most relaxed category of a basic jean or a basic kind of cargo pant with a sneaker. This is probably the easiest place to start if this is something that's new for you because you can't really go wrong. Here you can be as wild as you want in terms of your color palette. You can be as subtle as you want in, in your color palette and do an all monochromatic. This is a great thing to think about if you're traveling a lot this fall because it's so practical, it's so comfortable, you can use your sneakers in a lot of different ways. But here is a time to be really playful with your choices, to be bold with your choices, because you cannot really go wrong with styling a sneaker with a jean and whatever other element you wanna to add to the outfit. Going crazy with color or being subtle with color, anything is going to work. So there you have it, my friends. I hope you liked my ideas. I hope this got you feeling a little bit inspired. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And of course, for more style ideas or to see how I'm styling sneakers this fall or just for more inspiration, don't forget to follow me on Facebook and on Instagram.